Hello. I just read the most amazing story in the newspaper. Let me tell it to you. You see, outside of Odense, where I was born, there was a very wealthy man. And he had a large estate, many animals, many, many servants, and two sons of which he was most proud. And the two sons they were most proud of themselves. Yeah, they thought they were the smartest men in the kingdom. The first son, he memorized all the words in the dictionary. And the second son said, I can do better than that. And he memorized all the laws of the land. One day, to the rich man's estate, there came a messenger from the king. has declared that she will marry the man who can speak to her the best. Da, 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 da. Well, the brothers were excited, you see. They thought surely one of them would be able to speak to the princess the best. And so the father immediately brought forth his two best horses from his barn. To the first son, who had memorized all the dictionary, he gave a horse that was white as milk. And then to the second son, who had memorized all the laws of the land, he gave a horse that was black as coal. These sons proudly mounted their horses, and all of the servants of the house came out to say goodbye. Why don't you pretend you are the servants, yeah? So all of the servants, they smiled. That is your job. Good. And they waved, just like that. And they all said, goodbye. Oh, but they said it in Danish. Can you say, farewell? There, now you speak Danish. And the brothers proudly said, farewell. And they clicked their heels, yeah. <laughs> and off they rode to see the princess, to speak to her the best. But just then, from the rich man's home, running down the stairs, boom, 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 boom came the third son. Now, I did not mention him to you before because the brothers and the father did not pay much attention to him. His name was Hans, you see, and instead of reading dictionaries and law books, he would read story books and then tell the stories to the servants' children. His father and his brothers thought that was a silly waste of time, and since his name was Hans, they called him all the time Silly Hans. And so it was that Silly Hans ran down the stairs, boom, 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 and he said, Brothers, brothers, stop! W where are you going? Well, the brothers stopped their horses. Whoa! That is how you stop a horse, you know. And they said, Silly Hans, didn't you hear? The princess has declared that she will marry the man who can speak to her the best. Surely one of us will win her hand in marriage. Farewell. And they turned and clicked their heels. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And off they rode to see the princess, to speak to her the best. But now you see, silly Hans was excited. He turned to his father and said, Father, will you please give me a horse that I might ride with my brothers to speak to the princess the best? And his father said, Silly Hans, you do not memorize dictionaries or law books. Instead, you just read stories to children. I'm not going to waste one of my horses on you. Well, said Silly Hans, Father, I want to see the princess and speak to her, and perhaps she will marry me. And if she doesn't, I'll marry her anyway. So, if you won't give me a horse, I'll ride what I have. And so Silly Hans went to the barn, and he pulled forth his <laughs> billy goat. <laughs> yeah, he had raised it from a kid, and now it was a great big goat with a shaggy back and long curly horns. So he climbed on the billy goat and grabbed the horns. He waved to all of the servants. That's your part, remember? And they all smiled. Good. And they waved. Aha. Uh -huh. And they all said, Farewell. Farewell, yelled silly hands. Giddy up, goat! Whoa! And off he bounced down the road. It wasn't long 
before Silly Hans had caught up with his brothers. <laughs> and he'd made up a little song for the journey. He was singing, Here I am, here I am, I'm coming to marry the princess. Brothers, I have found something, stop and see. Well, the brothers, they stopped. Whoa! And they turned, and Silly Hans held up a dead crow. But the brothers looked at that and they said, Silly Hans, that's a dead crow. Are you taking that to the princess? Silly Hans said, Oh yes, I don't think she has anything like this. <laughs> the brothers laughed. They turned, they clicked their heels. Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. And off they rode to see the princess, to speak to her the best. But it wasn't long before Silly Hans had caught up with him again. He was singing his song. Here I am, here I am, I'm coming to marry the princess. Brothers, I have something else that's wonderful. Stop and see. Well, the brothers stopped their horses. Whoa! And they turned and Silly Hans held up an old wooden shoe. Yeah, it had been broken on the back. No one could wear it again. And the brothers said, Silly Hans, that's an old shoe the farmer has thrown away. Are you taking that to the princess? Yes, I'm sure it will be useful for something, said Silly Hans. <laughs> the brothers laughed. <laughs> and they turned and clicked their heels. Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. And off they rode to see the princess to speak to her the best. But again, Silly Hans caught up with him. Boom, 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 singing his song. Here I am, here I am, I'm coming to marry the princess. Brothers, I have found a treasure, stop and see. Well, the brothers stopped their horses. Whoa! You knew that part. And Silly Hans reached in his pockets and he pulled out gobs of mud. And the brothers said, Silly Hans, those are gobs of mud from the ditch. Are you taking that to the princess? Oh yes, said Silly Hans. It is the best kind of mud. We can make mud pies. The brothers did not say or laugh or do anything. They just turned, they clicked their heels. Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. And off they rode to see the princess, to speak to her the best. They rode so fast. They left Silly Hans far behind. They were there hours before Silly Hans at the royal palace. And they were shown into a room full of men. They had not thought that perhaps others would think they could speak to the princess the best. And so it was that the guards would come out and take one man in to speak to the princess, but then soon they would come out and take another man. And, and so it was until only the two brothers were left. So the guards took that first brother and pushed him in <coughs> to see the princess and he looked up and saw that the ceiling was a giant mirror. He could see himself looking back at himself upside down and in each corner of the room was a furnace bellowing forth flames and heat. It made the room as hot as an oven. And then on her throne he saw the princess sitting with a cold, hard look on her face. And on each side there was a table. And at each table there sat two scribes. They are the ones who write down all of the words for the royal family. And by this time they had very sour faces like... And they were writing everything down that the men were saying to send to the newspapers. The first brother, he came forward and he bowed. And he said, Good day, Your Highness. I am here to speak to you the best. But it is unbelievably hot in here today. Why is that? That is because we are roasting roosters today. Now this man, who knew all of the words of the dictionary, could only ask, Huh? And the scribes, with their sour faces, wrote on their papers, Huh? And the princess yelled, No good! Throw him out. So the guards marched up. They picked up the brother. What are you doing? What? Go, go, ah, boom. They threw him out the window. And then the guards pushed in the second brother, the one who had memorized all the laws of the land. And when he looked up, 
Ah, he could see himself upside down on the ceiling. And he saw the furnaces in each corner bellowing forth flames and heat. Oh, it was so hot. But to make matters worse, he saw the princess on her throne with a cold, hard look. And the scribes with sour faces, writing everything down for the newspapers. And he became so nervous, his legs shook just a bit. But still, he bowed and said, Good day, your highness. I am here to speak to you the best. But it is unlawfully hot in here today. Why is that? That is because we are roasting roosters today. Do you know this man who knew all of the questions of the law could only ask, Huh? And the scribes, with their sour faces, wrote, He? And the princess yelled, No good. Throw him out. So the guards marched up. They picked him up. What, what are you doing? Ah! They threw him out the window. He landed on the first brother. But just then, the castle doors burst open. And in came Silly Hands, still riding on his billy goat, still singing his song. Do you remember how it goes? Here I am, here I am, I'm coming to marry the princess. Whoa, goat, whoa. Hello, your highness. I am Silly Hands. I am here to speak to you the best. But it is very hot in here today. Why is that? That is because we are roasting roosters today. Oh, good! Could you cook my crow also? Well, this was different. The princess was surprised. So much so that on that cold, hard face of hers, you might even have seen a small smile at the corner like this. We would cook your crow, but we have no more pots or pans. What do you think about that? That is all right. I brought my own pot. And he pulled out that old wooden shoe. He put the crow down inside and said, Shall we eat? We cannot eat yet, for we have no gravy. What do you think about that? That is all right, for I have brought my own gravy. And he pulled out the mud. That's right. And he said, I have gravy enough for everybody. Shall we eat? Well, the princess was starting to like this little game. And she smiled and said, Oh, before we eat, though, I must tell you that these men are my scribes, and they are writing down everything you say to put into the newspapers. So what do you think about that? They are so important, I think they should get the gravy first. And the scribes looked up and... <coughs> they got the mud right in their faces. And on their papers they wrote... <coughs> I don't know how to spell that, but the princess, she smiled, she laughed, she clapped her hands and she said, I don't know how you did that, but I hope that you will teach me, for you are the man who has spoken to me the best. You are the one that I would like to marry. Silly Hans smiled and said, oh, I thought you would. And you know, they were soon married. And he soon became good Prince Hans. And this story is true because I read it in the newspaper, you see. And you can always believe what you read in the newspapers, yeah? So, what amazing story have you read in the newspaper lately?